New, yeah. new, <laughs> new, new, new. Okay. Okay. Stuff is new. There's still a few Ada boxes. This would start with Ada box there too. Um, I think there's just a couple left. If you go to adafruit.com slash Ada box, you too can get an Ada box. Okay. Ooh, what's going to be in it? Okay. So um, the Ada box, you can't tell you what's in it because that's the whole point. Uh, check that out. Check out the video at adafruit.com slash Ada box. Let's go straight to the new products. This week we added the light blue Bean Plus. So this is a Bluetooth low energy uh, microcontroller dev board from Punch Through. Uh, their whole thing is it's very integrated. They make it very easy. Um, you know, it's 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 you program it over Bluetooth. I guess maybe you can program it over uh, USB also now. I don't remember. But the old one you could pretty much only program over Bluetooth. But it's basically if you want to do like BLE development and you want to kind of rock it in with a very powerful, ready to go setup, um, this is it. So this one can. Uh, do Bluetooth low energy with um, it's a module from Scilabs that I can't remember the BLE 113 or 112. Uh, it's got an Arduino microcontroller on there as well. So you've got I squared C, SPI. It's got, you've got all the all the things that you know and love about Arduino, but it's wireless. It's small. Has a battery on the kind of a backpack, and I, I think it's kind of like this is kind of the high end luxury. Uh, Bluetooth development environment. So you know, it's like you're gonna pay a little bit more. The McLaren. What, what is up with the McLaren thing? Because I didn't. There was a rumor that Apple was going to buy them or be a strategic investor, but instead it looks like they're either going to purchase or just get the employees from uh, Lit Electronics or Lit okay. Transportation. Okay. Yeah. It's Lit. All right. Well, this is the Apple of Bluetooth development environment. Uh, very elegant, um, very advanced, mm -hmm. uh, can do a lot. Um, okay. You know, with the Bluetooth, but it is, it is not low level. It's a higher level. But for a lot of people, that's what they prefer. They don't want okay. to do. They don't want to get the Nordic tool chain out. Okay. Next up. Okay, and then uh, actually, can you can you skip to the third one? Oh yeah. Okay, so this is the. Uh, uh, wait, go back. I am. I'm gonna go there. Wait, stop. I know. Okay, I this, will. good. Yeah. Wait. Hi. <laughs> All right, this is the um, electron from Particle. So it is a all-in-one cellular plus battery charging plus um, uh, online IDE, a fully online IDE, it, you know, Arduino-esque, uh, CC++ like our IDE, that uses the particle core, same, same setup as the Photon, if you're familiar with that one, or the um, Spark core, which was their first board. This one is cellular, so it's gotten a little bit bigger. It's backwards compatible with the particle, so there's more pins, but it's like the first group of pins is like the same location and size, so you can plug it in. Um, but basically now you're upgraded from uh, just data over Wi-Fi to data over cellular. It doesn't do audio over cellular. It's, I believe it's only, I don't remember seeing any way to get headphone or, or audio out from this device. You can only do cellular, but you have two models. There's 2G, and 3G. The 3G is going to be more expensive, but it's going to be um, a lot more future-proof. 2G, while it works in many, many locations, it works here in the United States just fine if you're using T-Mobile, um, and it's probably going to be supported for many years. If you're looking, if you're using it in a country that is um, going to shut down their 2G service, or has shut down their 2G service, or you want to use AT&T in, Amer uh, in America, then you, you get the 3G version. Uh, so on the bottom, there's a little SIM card holder. There's an STM32 microcontroller. There's a, a battery charger and boost converter, all that good stuff, a big tenth ohm capacitor. Here's all the pinouts. You get like analog digital converters, I squared C, SPI, like DMA, all that crazy jazz. And it comes as a starter kit. So if you go back three, yeah. So it comes in a box and you get um, the particle itself, the uh, electron. You get uh, an LED, and you get some resistors over there. You get an antenna, which is which looks like it's fill, like you, the antenna is coming out of you. You're the antenna. Uh, micro USB cable. You get a SIM card that comes with, I think, three months of free data, like a like a couple megabytes per month, which is perfectly fine for your usage. Maybe it's like 10, 20, or something megabytes per month. Good enough for um, data transfer and uploads. Uh, you get a cool sticker, a photo cell. I mentioned the light poly battery over there and uh, some resistors. So it's basically like a pack, but you know, pack kit ready to go. You get everything to do some very basic projects, a, a breadboard as well. Um, so check it out. I think it's kind of neat. It's, it's the most promising of all of the like cellular all-in-one um, 
devices out there. We also have the phone of feather, but it's not going to be as advanced. It's not going to have a web IDE. Uh, okay. The phone of feather that we have is only a programmable over Arduino. So yeah, go trade-offs. Okay, arg. <laughs> arg. It was talk like a pirate day a couple days ago, wasn't it? Yeah. Here is the flotilla. Yeah. It's here. This is one of our uh, favorite new learning platforms. This it is, is epic. neat. It is neat, and they went above and beyond. This is yeah. crazy. We're just going to go right to the overhead because you got to see. Okay. You so, got to see some of the stuff that went into this. Yeah, the box. Hold on. There's a box is amazing. So you get this awesome box, yeah, yeah, which comes side. with, you know, it's, it's, it's got yeah, this like, beautiful it's printed. art. It's got all these happy fish things in it. You like round electronics. Round electronics. And you get all these parts and pieces. So you have this main board. Look at these color coded. Look at this, like candy. Ca like candy. And so you, it's very nice packaging. They so crazy each, with the, each board yeah. has a, you know, this is like a seven segment um, oh, right. display. Focus. Sorry about that. I was so excited by this box. Yeah. Um, so each board has, you know, it's fully <coughs> assembled. It uses micro USB as the connector, but it isn't actually micro USB. Um, it's just, it's a very handy connector. And then it has this kind of like a, a motherboard, which is um, round. It looks like this. And it basically allows you to connect eight, you know, like an octopus, different sensors. And you get like, I think 10 or 12 different sensors from NeoPixels to a um, temperature barometer, to touch, to motion a color sensor, light sensor, all of that good stuff. Um, inputs and outputs and, and whatnot, and then joysticks, and um, some kit parts to make like a robot, and motors and stuff, so it's kind of like an all-in-one kit. And you program it, use a Raspberry Pi. Um, there you go. Uh, use a Raspberry Pi to program it, and it comes with a couple different ways of programming. You can use like a drag and drop system, yeah. where you can actually type it, uh, code in Python. Um, it's really intense. Um, this is a Kickstarter, which they um, have uh, released now into the public. You know, you can purchase it. So check it out. Yeah, I mean, just like all the little details that went into like this. Silk yeah. Look at this adorable silk screen. It's like that's a circuit board. It's a circuit board, but it's so cute. And then there's and it's a little octopus, and like each leg is a little. Yeah, thing. and there's this like little case that goes on it. Anyway, yeah. they, they did a great job. Congrats. Uh, this is an epic. Hi, Maroney. Epic. This release. is this is a lot of work. And this is a huge. This is a lot of work. This is a lot of work. But you know what? Like you know, the the Pike they did was a lot of work, but it's a, very successful now. Yeah. Okay. So this very um, cool system from them, twenty projects involved. Great for people who who want to um, do stuff and are not advanced programmers. They want to learn. It's a great gift. I think this will be a very popular gift for the holidays. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. That's Flotilla. <laughs> Next up, Whew. more from Pi Maroney. Yeah, we got a big shipment from micro, them. We got some micro micro dot fat. This is the uh, yeah micro dot fat. So this comes with these like really I've never actually seen these, but um, they have a part number and you can get it from DigiKey. These like, adorable little five by or six by eight displays. Look at how cute they are. They are wicked cute. And um, so they have a little animation that you can do. It's just monochromatic. You can turn pixels on or off. Um, I have the little demo here. Showing it with a Raspberry Pi Zero. Can you ask which two? Okay. Yeah. So this is with a, a Raspberry Pi Zero. You can use it with a Pi B Plus or whatever. Any any Raspberry Pi that has a two by twenty connector. But um, it's lovely on a Pi Zero because of course it, you get this you know cute. It's interesting. It it looks like the dimmer, but when you look at it, you can't see. I don't know why it seems that way. It seems very even to my sight. Maybe the camera is confused. Um, but it comes with demo code and Python and all that good stuff, and you can scroll messages, or or whatnot. Very adorable little display. Um, you solder it together. You comes with six displays, um, the hat and a connector. Um, but it's pretty easy. You just get your soldering iron and just whip through them, and you've got a little micro dot display. So this is displaying the incorrect time. Okay. <laughs> but that's the demo it comes with. All right. Next Cute. up. Okay. Argy boy. We're not even to like the biggest thing either. Like, look I know, we're going to run over a little bit, isn't it? We're now, it's fine. Yeah. So this is, um, so I think it was also a Kickstarter or an Indiegogo, I don't remember, it was a crowdfund. It's an adorable little gaming platform. It's the size of like, you know, a credit card, I think is, you know, maybe a little bit more. Um, it's fully assembled, comes to you as is. It has an Atmega 32U4 Arduino compatible chip inside of it. All these little glossy buttons. Um, a cute case, a 1.3 inch OLED, which is the display. Um, 
a battery in the back, a very skinny battery, um, charging circuitry. So this is the RG Boy. Let me see if I can get it to not flicker as much. Well, you don't see the actual refresh, by the way. It's just, it's just a camera effect. Um, to me, it looks uh, very smooth. But, um, you know, you have, let's see, let's play. And it's got even a little uh, buzzer. Okay. Yay, so you can play little games. And uh, there's a bunch of games written for it. And there's like a synthesizer and like some demos and stuff. Um, and, you know, you can program it all in Arduino, which is really cool. And um, the display looks really great. And even though it's monochrome, um, you know, by doing dithering effects, you can, you can have a really nice um, gameplay. And I think they used like, you know, the sped up um, SPI. So you get like super smooth animations. Like you don't see the redraws at all. So they did a really good job with that as well. Uh, comes with an on-off switch here. There's this battery charging over here. So when I unplug it, you know, it runs without. Yeah. Um, and then, you know, it's, what's nice about it, you can just turn it off whenever you want because it's an Arduino. Turn it back on. Team ARG. So it's got a, a speaker as well. The speaker's uh, over on the back somewhere because I don't see it. But there's a little um, piezo speaker as well. So it can do synth tones and, and beeps and stuff. So it's really cute little design. Um, yeah. Great for people who want to uh, hack the open source software and write their own games or demos. I think it's cool. You, know, you can open it up and like solder stuff to it. Yes, yeah, it's cool. Super cool. This is one of the coolest products. This is very okay. cool. Yeah, I'm excited. Next so up, Lady Ada. I think what a lot of folks were waiting for this week. It's here. Yay! ESP32. This is like the dev edition now. This is the dev edition. Yeah. And explain we're, what that means. We're working on some other stuff. So the ESP32 is the successor <coughs> to the ESP8266. The 8266 is a very popular Wi Fi microcontroller which um, after a lot of effort by a lot of very talented engineers got um, support in uh, programming in Lua, MicroPython, and um, Arduino, which is by far the most popular that we've seen. People love using it with the Arduino IDE. It's very inexpensive. Um, but the thing about the ESP8266, it's great, but there's a couple things it, it didn't have that people really wanted. It didn't have a lot of pins available. Uh, it didn't have a lot of analog digital converter pins, and the, pin, the one pin it did have was limited. Um, you know, there's a, you know, a lot of things were taken up by the requirement for like bootstrapping all these pins when, when it boots. And um, it could do a lot, but people maybe wanted a little bit more power. They wanted uh, built-in hardware encryption, all that good stuff. And so uh, the ESP32 is the answer to that. It's, a more, it's not a replacement. It's just a more advanced version. It has a ton more pins, peripherals, DMA, dual core, uh, Bluetooth capabilities as well. It's an uh, epic chip, um, but it's very, very new. So uh, we sold out of these. They, were, they went to a lot of ESP32 developers who were very fast on their feet or fast on their fingers. Um, we will be getting some more, so sign up and we'll notify you as soon as we get more. Um, this, we're selling you a limit of one right now just because we want to make sure we can get these to the developers um, who are going to be working on porting and adapting all this, these exciting yeah. code bases and languages. Um, but it is a very exciting a new chipset. We're super psyched to, to use it for a yeah. bunch of projects. We're, we've been waiting <clears throat> for it. Uh, yeah. We had the ESP31, tried it out. You know, there was almost the same exact chip. Yeah. So this is really cool. So let me break it down to everyone what's going to happen. Break it down. So we got these dev boards. We got these dev boards. Okay. We're working on the Feather Huzzah version. We'll talk yeah. about that in a minute. There's going to be a ton of Kickstarters and more. Oh, they're, you're going to see a lot of They're racing. Practices. This is going to be the best oh, thing ever. So many promises will be made. Um, anyways, so that's what's going to go on. But we'll have our, our, our thing out pretty soon. Yeah, and we don't do pre-orders. We're not letting people yeah. pre-order these on purpose because we just want to make sure that when we get them in, we'll get notified. Mm -hmm. We ship what we have in stock. Yeah. So that's what we're working on. Okay, Lady Ada, with that, is new products this okay. week. Okay. You did it. Congratulations. Yay.